Hi guys, it's Hina again and today I have an amazing workout for you to flatten your tummy so when you're ready, just roll out your mat and let's begin Alright guys, so let's begin by sit in the middle of the mat Now open your leg hip with the part fit flat Pull your belly button in and drop the shoulder Now inhale Hand on your thighs and exhale slowly. Bring one leg up and to the other side. And we keep doing it for five more times each side. Five to your left. Now squeeze your inner thighs together. And four to your left. Keep the same angle under your knees. And keep breathing. And two. And last time. Okay, now bring your back back to neutral, shake your hips a little bit and lean backward again. Now this time bring your arms to the front, palms facing each other to keep your navel in. Inhale and exhale, bring it back. Inhale down and exhale, come back. And five more times here, shoulder down. Four. Press your feet down and feel balance here when you roll down and up again. And two. And last time, hold it here for five, four, three, two. And bring it back to the center, shake your hips. Inhale and exhale, flex forward and come back. Exhale every time you flex and bring it back, drop the shoulders, squeeze in the thighs and feel your inner thighs connecting to each other now feel like someone pulling you to the front and back use your core to roll back and two more times so inhale exhale and inhale back exhale down and last time bring your back drop the shoulder here now open your arm to the side inhale and exhale lean backward and open drop the shoulder and we do it six more times here with your own breath. Five. And open your chest. Come back, shoulder down. And four. Three. Press your feet down. Two. Keep your legs parallel to each other. And last time. Okay, beautiful. Bring it down. Soften your elbow. Inhale and exhale. Bring your arms all the way up. Keep your back neutral here and sit tall. And lift. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down and inhale up. And three more times. Keep your legs parallel. Two. And last time. Lift up. And now we try to reach. And three. Two, and last time, slowly bring your arms to the front, palms facing each other, and round your spine to C curve. Exhale slowly, allow yourself to lie down on the mat. Now adjust your body so your body is in within the mat. Open your feet hip width apart, keep one foot distant from your heel to your butt. Arms along your body and press your shoulder and your arms down. Inhale, slowly draw the hip up. Inhale your core and keep your heel, hip stabilized here and bring it down slowly, each foot hip right at a time. Still press your palms down to the floor and exhale down. Squeeze in your thighs and keep your legs parallel and open. Squeeze your butt and inhale your core as much as possible. Now I want you to do it four more times. Inhale up and exhale slowly down and up. Three, with your breath, inhale, and exhale, squeeze your butt to bring it down, and last time, hold it here, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly, draw your hips down again, straight your hips from left to right, now inhale, I want you to bring your hips up, press your feet down, and feel balance on both hips and knees right now, Squeeze your butt, 
Inhale and make a little pause ten times. And keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly roll down each vertebra at a time. So from here, inhale, draw it up. Lift your heels up. Bring it down. And eight more times. Seven. Keep breathing. Squeeze your butt. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly heels down. Hips down. Each vertebra at a time down. Shake your hips. Okay. Now from here, I want you to bring one leg up and the other leg up. Now stick your heels and your knees together. Dorsi flex. Inhale. And exhale. Lift your shoulder and your arms up. Now pull your belly button in, stick your lower back to the mat, inhale, and start pumping your hand, inhale five times, and exhale five times. Inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. Inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, and we do it five more times. Inhale and exhale, if you want more challenge, Stretching your legs to 45 degrees and keep pumping your hand. Use your whole arms, not just your wrist. Great. Now squeeze your inner thighs together and we do two more set of breaths. And inhale, exhale. And last time, stick your lower back down, show your hips. I mean, keep your shoulders far away from the ears and bring it down. Shake your hips from left to right. Very good. Now bring your legs down. Take a deep breath. From here, bring your arms up to the ceiling. Inhale and exhale. Bring your knees and heels up. Stick your heels and knees together. Now inhale again. Exhale, reach toward your knees and bring it back. Arms up, shoulder up. And use your core to reach up and control the movement here. Exhale and inhale back. And five more times. Four. Three. And last time, bring it down, leg down, and arms down. Okay? Now from here, I want you to open your arms to 45 degrees. Press your shoulder down, press your palms down. Bring your leg up and the other leg up. Now inhale, stretch. Straighten one leg to the ceiling and the other leg. Push it far away so your knees um, further away um, from your chest and your hips in 90 degree right now. Inhale, open your straightened leg to the side and bring it back. Activate your feet. And we do it five more times. Press your shoulder down to the floor and try not to. And make sure that your hips is stabilized and not moving so only your right leg is moving right now good and we do it three more times with your own breath inhale exhale come back squeeze your inner thigh bring it back together and two and last time very good now bring it back bend your knee straighten the other leg and start to do the same thing to your left Come back to your left and come back. Good. And three more times, say with your own breath. Squeeze your inner thighs. Keep your lower leg parallel to the floor. Two. And last time. Bring it back. Bend your knees and bring each leg down. So from here, we want. I want you to. To keep your leg open and parallel here inhale and exhale slowly draw the hip up pull your belly button in and come down slowly inhale up squeeze in the thighs and exhale bring it down and four more times inhale exhale slowly down inhale up squeeze your butt and bring it down three To keep breathing and last time hold it here for five four 
you have to work the knees two and one slowly bring it down shake your hips a little bit and when you're ready i want you to draw your hips up again inhale open your knees wider exhale come back squeeze your inner thighs and come back and four more times here three two and last time into your core and slowly draw your hip down shake your hips bring your leg up to 90 degree the other leg up now from here stick your heels and your knees together inhale and exhale lean to one side press your shoulder down and come back exhale to the other side we do it five more times each side press your palms down and keep breathing three more times here and two feel your inner thighs connecting to each other and last time bring it back to the center and each leg down okay and so bring your arms up to the ceiling again palms facing each other now open your arms and keep your legs open your legs and keep your legs parallel inhale bring your arms over your head reach come back shoulder down and up to the ceiling inhale reach exhale bring it back and we do it five more times four pull your belly button in is to keep your back in neutral three and two and last time reach bring it back so from here i want you to add a little bit movement here bring your arms over your head reach bring it back when you bring it back bring your knees and your leg up reach toward your heels and come back bring your leg down bring your arms over your head and again we do it four more times with your breath into your core and reach and three when you bring your head up stick your lower back to the mat two and last time hand over your head and extend it along your body so from here I want you to bring your legs up to 90 degree again and the other leg stick your heels and your knees together dorsi flex arms along your body and press it down inhale and exhale straighten one leg come back to the other side and when you bring your leg to the front feel like someone is pulling your leg toward okay. engage your core and keep your back in neutral and press your palms down your shoulder down and five more times each side to your right and to your left inhale lengthen exhale come back inhale to the other side and exhale come back and three two anchor your core as much as possible to so but to support your lower back and last time to your right lengthen come back to your left and come back hug your knee to your chest take a deep breath inhale and exhale now from here stretching one leg to the ceiling the other leg to the ceiling now put your hand on your thighs here inhale slowly push your leg away and bring it back to the other side and use your leg to bring it back to the mat tuck your tailbone a little bit forward and come back and we do it three more times each side to your left and to your right come back to your left and to the other side great and last time to your right 
into your core as much as possible into your left bring it back bend your knees now hug your left knee to your chest and straighten your right leg inhale to 45 degree inhale lift the head up shoulder up pull your belly button in and stick your lower back to the mat and exhale twist now we do it eight more times each side seven squeeze in the thighs activate your feet and five four use your hand to pull your knee toward your chest a little bit more and four to your left exhale and exhale three two and last time bring it down arms now shoulder down release take a deep breath and come back stretch your leg to the ceiling use your hand to hug your knees here and stretch the other leg to 45 degree now lift your head up if you feel tight on your neck you can use one hand to support it and if you want more challenge you always can use your hand slide it to the ankle so from here we do the same thing twist and exhale every time you twist so we do it eight more times each side seven squeeze in the thighs six engage your core as much as possible and engage your pelvic floor muscle five four activate your feet and keep breathing here because the breath is going to help you to control the movement better three two last time bend your knees head down shoulder down shut your hips from left to right okay now from here i want you to inhale lift your head up hands support your head and open your elbow wider bring one knee to your chest straighten one leg to 45 degree inhale and exhale leg straighten up to the ceiling and bring it back good engage your core as much as possible and don't make any tension on your shoulder now just try to push it down far away from the ear four more times here we do it eight times in total and three two and last time trains to the other side and all the way up to the ceiling good six more times to inhale up and exhale down and squeeze in the thighs three and two and last time bend your knees and bring your head down take a deep breath inhale and exhale through your mouth very good so from here i want you to bring your leg up to 90 degrees hip width apart here and bring your arms to 45 degree inhale and exhale slowly rotate your hips to your left engage your core and come back still try to keep the same distance between both knees here and to the other side press your shoulder down exhale bring it back activate your feet and to your right good squeeze it in the thighs together we do it to your right come back to your left and bring it back now a little bit more challenging here when you bring your leg to one side i want you to straighten your leg and come back to the other side straighten your leg and bring it back and we do it five more times each side to your right try to keep the same degree on your hips and your knees squeeze in the thighs straighten come back and straighten bring it back and four exhale inhale to the other side and exhale come back to the center three two 
Again, try to keep your legs parallel and the same distance between your knees. Last time. And last time to the other side. Bring it back to the center. Leg down. Okay, now from here, arms along your body again. Inhale, draw your hip up. Now this time, I want you to slowly rotate your hip to your left and to your right. And anchor your core. And five, four, press your arms and your shoulder down. Two, squeeze your butt. And last time, bring it back to the center. Slowly bring it down to the middle and come up again. Middle and up. And we'll do it a few more times here with your breath. Inhale and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Four, three, two and last time slowly draw your hip down and shake your hips from left to right very good now from here stretch in your legs now dorsiflex and bring your arms up to the ceiling inhale and exhale chin to chest use your core to roll up to sitting position now flex forward and use your core round the spine roll it back drop shoulder Round your spine to C curve, slowly lower back, middle, and upper back down to the mat, hand over your head. We do it five more times here with your breath. Inhale, and exhale. Try to not lift your leg up, but stick your feet down to the floor. You can soften your knees a little bit if you need to. Now, contract your pelvic floor muscle when you lift it up. Inhale. And exhale, flex forward and come back, drop your shoulder, round your spine, squeezing your thighs together, hand over your head. And three, flex forward and come back. Two, And last time, inhale up, exhale, slowly roll up to sitting position, okay? So from here, I want you to bend your knees, open your leg, hip width apart and feet flat. Again, we bring your arms to the front, palms facing each other. Inhale, exhale, flex forward, come back, drop your shoulder and flex forward and come back, squeeze in the thighs, five, four, Two, and last time, bring it down, drop your shoulder, now push your shoulder to the back, so you open your chest right now, and forward, to the back, and forward, keep your back in neutral curve, only the shoulder, shoulder is moving right here, and three, two, soften your elbows, last time, bring it back to the center, rotate your shoulder, and reverse so from here i want you to bring your hand under your knees slowly lean to the back scoop your belly pull your belly button in hand under your leg inhale bring your leg up exhale bring it down to the other side again and bring it down and we do it five more times each side now try to stabilize your torso only your leg is moving if you want more, like if you want easier to keep balance here, you can bring your hand next to your hip, soften your elbows, or you can bring it to the front if it's easier for you. It's up to you, you know. And three more times to your left, two, and last time. Slowly draw your back. To the natural curve, shake your hips a little bit. Now take a deep breath and exhale. Stretch in your leg, keep your hips and your knees together. So from here, hand behind your hip, bend your knees, lean to the back, anchor your core, activate your feet, pull your belly button in, open your chest and lift the leg up, bring it down six more times. One, four, three, two. 
two and one bring it down trains to the other side and five more times four three two and one bring it down bring it back to neutral straight your hips and lean back again now allow your start down to the floor keep it 90 keep it 90 degree under your elbow lift your leg up and the other leg up so keep your hips 90 degree here pull your belly button in anchor your core open your chest activate your feet inhale and exhale open your leg to one side straighten come back to the center to the other side straighten come back and to the center inhale and exhale bring it back inhale straighten exhale come back try to make a long breath and control beautiful and we do it five more times each time to your right when you straighten your leg feel like someone pulling your leg to that way stabilize your hips and keep breathing good I want to make sure you engage your core as much as possible to support your lower back to your left come back and to your right and bring it back so two more times each side last time keep breathing and bring it leg down shake your hips a little bit so from here open your feet hip width apart inhale and exhale lift your hips up and bring it down we'll do it five more times inhale up exhale down and four into your core three two and last time Bring it down. No. I want you to stretch in your arms up. Make a fist down to the floor. Shoulder push it down far away from the ear. Inhale and try to lift your hips up. Make a straight line and bring it down. Okay. Up and exhale down. Squeeze in the thighs and five. You can soften your knees a little bit, I mean your elbows a little bit when you bring it down. And three, two, and last time, bring it down. Rotate your shoulder, reverse. Now from here, bring your leg up, hand under your knees here, and to the other side, find a balanced part. Open your chest. Shoulder down, activate your feet. Inhale, dorsiflex. Exhale, straighten your feet and dorsiflex and straighten the feet. And we'll turn five. Squeeze your inner thigh, pull your belly button in and keep breathing. Four. Don't have to push so hard on your hand to your leg. Three. Two. And last time. But focus on your core. And now open. Um, bring your knees and your heels together and open and bring it back so your hand here just for support but not really do like I want you to focus on your core and your leg so shoulder down and we do it three more times inhale exhale come back and two and last time it's all about balance very good and bring it down show your hip from left to right and slowly lean to the back open your chest shoulder down again bring your leg up to the other side now straighten your leg and straighten the other leg so from here into your core and bring it bend your knees bring your leg parallel to the floor again and straighten it and bring it down and we'll do it five more times four three two and last time 
bring it down, bend your knees down, shake your hips from left to right. Now, still keep your legs open, bring your arms up to the ceiling, inhale, and exhale, slowly rotate your torso to your left and to your right. Your sitting bones to stick to the mat. And to the other side, feel your obliquity twisting. Inhale to your left, exhale, come back to the center. And inhale to your right, exhale, come back to the center. Oblique, not your shoulder. And two. Pull your belly button in. And last time. Press your feet down and come back to the center. Now hand behind your head. Keep your back in neutral curve. Inhale, open your elbows and exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. And arch your back. Inhale and exhale again. So we do it five, shoulder far away from the ears. Four, press your feet down, feel the inner thighs connecting to each other. Three. And last time, arch your back and bring it back to neutral curve. So from here, inhale, slowly straighten your arms to one side and bring it back to the other side. Engage your core and come back. We're still working our core here by pull your navel to the spine and to the other side. Keep your back neutral, shoulder down. And to your left, come back to your right, and bring it back. So we do it three more times. We engage your core as much as possible. If you want to quote, work your core more, you can lean back a little bit, grab your spine a little bit, and scoop your belly here. And last time, to your right, come back to your left, and come back to the center. Bring your back back. Rotate your shoulder, and reverse. All right, so from here, I want you to lie down on your back again and lengthen your leg, dorsi flex, and try to make 10 pulls to squat, stretch your hamstring. And five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees, bring it to the other side, dorsi flex, and stretch. And bend the knees again, bring it down, leg on the other leg. Bring your leg up, hug your thigh. Feel your side of your hip is stretching. And to the other side. Hold it for a few seconds. And bring it down. So from here, I want you to inhale, open your arms to 45 degree. And bring one, both knees to one side. Look to the other side and press your shoulder down. Feel the oblique it twisting. And to the other side. Now bring it back to the center. Lean on one side and sit up. So that's the workout for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you want to see any movement in the future. Subscribe my channel and let me know how it goes. Bye.